Hello everyone. Welcome. Today, we're diving into a crucial aspect of using Citra MMJ, saving your game progress. Many users struggle with this, so I'm going to show you exactly how to save your files properly in Citra MMJ. This will ensure you don't lose hours of gameplay. So, let's get started. First, understand how Citra MMJ handles saves. Unlike some emulators, Citra MMJ primarily relies on in-game saving mechanisms. That means you save your game just like you would on a real Nintendo 3DS. Open your game within Citra MMJ. Play until you reach a point where you want to save. Look for the in-game save option. This is usually found in the game's menu. Select the save option within the game itself. The game will then create a save file. This save file is stored within Citra MMJ's save data folder. Now, let's talk about save states. Save states are different from in-game saves. They are essentially snapshots of the game at a specific moment. To create a save state, use the Citra MMJ menu. Look for the save state option. Usually, you can assign save states to different slots. Choose an empty slot and save your state. Remember, save states are less reliable than in-game saves. They can sometimes become corrupted or incompatible after emulator updates. Therefore, it's always best to rely primarily on in-game saves. If you encounter problems loading your game, first, make sure that the Citra MMJ application has the required permissions on your Android device. Check storage access and ensure the app can read and write to the appropriate folders. Secondly, verify the integrity of your ROM file. A corrupted ROM can lead to save failures. Try re-downloading the ROM from a trusted source. Next, always close Citra MMJ properly after saving. Avoid force closing the app, as this can corrupt your save data. Instead, use the emulator's menu to exit gracefully. Furthermore, consider backing up your Citra MMJ save data folder regularly. This provides an extra layer of protection against data loss. You can copy the entire Citra MMJ folder to your computer or cloud storage for safekeeping. Finally, remember that different games might have different saving mechanisms. Some games might autosave frequently, while others require manual saving. Always familiarize yourself with the specific game save system. By following these tips, you can ensure that your save files in Citra MMJ are safe and secure. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe. Your support helps me create more content. Consider checking out my other videos for more Citra MMJ tips and tricks. See you in the next video.